Hello everyone and you are welcome to another insightful session right here on this channel. I go by the name Tete Tei and today we will be looking at the last institution that is eligible for the Helmut Schmidt Scholarship Program. Okay, so without wasting much time, we are going to jump into the video for today. But then if this is the first time you are watching any video via this channel, I would encourage you to hit on the subscribe button, like this video as well and hit on the post notifications so that as and when I release a new video you would be notified if you are a returning viewer i am glad that you are still here with me and i know you are definitely going to find a scholarship that is worth applying for now let's look at the last institution Okay, so we are on the home page of the scholarship program. Mind you, I would be inserting all the relevant links in the description so that you can check out this information for yourself, verify it, and then put in an application if you are eligible for that particular program. Okay, so once that we are here, the first thing you do is to move to current announcement so that you can see the list of the schools. Okay, so once you click on the current announcement, just scroll down to the last page where you have the list of the schools that are eligible for the scholarship program we have looked at six schools so far today we are looking at the last school and the last course okay so we are going back to the university of Passau. we looked at the university of Passau when we are looking at the sixth course that is development studies now we are still going back to the university of Passau, and we are looking at the program known as governance and public policy remember all the schools are already hyperlinked so all you have to do is to click on the hyperlinked governance and public policy here okay so we click on it and then it takes us straight to the university of parcel specifically the ma governance and public policy page okay so you can read about the program okay about the ma in governance and public policy you can read about the program here and what it features okay there's an info sheet also here as well and then you can read here about the dad scholarships as well okay but remember when you come to the left hand side of your screen you can see governance and then under governance you can see what the students say and then you can see that scholarship okay so click on the dad scholarship that you see here once you click on the dad scholarship it is going to take you directly to the scholarship page of the helmut schmidt program okay so once you are here you can read about the objectives of the scholarship program but remember i have already done a comprehensive video about the scholarship program what it entails the documents that you would need and how you can put in your application so i wouldn't want to go into these objectives the link to that video is going to be in the description of this video so you can always check it out then you can read about the governance and public policy masters as well and then what the scholarship entails the benefits of the scholarship are here as well okay but i have spoken about them in the comprehensive video so once you are ready just click on find out how to apply okay so once you click on that it is going to take you to the application page remember you can apply from the application portal from the 1st of june to the 31st of july 2024 okay so so since the portal is yet to be open the date has not yet been updated here okay so mind you don't get confused when you see 2023 here it is going to update to 2024 in june okay so now you can start putting your particulars together and then once the portal opens you can start putting in your application of course who can apply is explained here okay so the program is open to future leaders who would like to become actively involved in further social and economic development in their home countries and regions okay it is addressed at young graduates as well as junior managers with job experience so you can go on to read about who can apply but all these things are well explained in my comprehensive video on the scholarship program okay remember when you reach how to apply you can always 
check the application manual okay so let's check the application manual quickly before we continue with this video okay so once you click on the application manual it is going to teach you exactly what you have to do to submit your application okay so please take time to go through the application manual and then fill in the form and then submitting your application is going to be very very easy and then straight to the point for you okay so we go back to the program page and then as you can see here when it comes to the application documents it reads that all information about the required documents for application are available on the dad website okay so the documents are not listed here they are available on the dad website remember once you are on the dad website just go to checklist and once you Go to the checklist you can see all the documents that you would need okay i have explained extensively about the documents in the video about the scholarship and i remember that link is going to be in the description so you can watch the video so these are the documents that you would need to apply for the master's program okay so you would need what the data application form your letter of motivation and you would also need this checklist as part of your documents as well okay you would need your cv in euro pass format your university certificates your transcript of records you would need practical experience relevant to your scholarship program and then you would also need a written reference when it comes to the english language proficiency you would have to use an english proficiency letter from your university to suffice for any english language test so do not fret if you do not have ielts okay so those are the documents that you would need to apply for the program so once you have all those documents then you can click on the application portal okay so once you click on the application portal you will be able to start filling in the form and then putting in your application remember the application portal is closed um, for the 2023 applications so since it has not been updated yet that is why you cannot fill in the form now but from the 1st of june it is going to be open and then you can put in your application i'm definitely going to remind you when the application portal opens so that is it this was the last program for the helmut smith scholarship program okay so we have spoken extensively about all the seven schools that you can apply to when it comes to the helmut smith program i wish you all the best with your application and i will definitely catch you on the flip side stay blessed and i am out